Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in this video I will show you everything that has been changed, added and fixed in Minecraft Snapshot 20w28a. The snapshot came out just 3 minutes ago and I'm live streaming it right now as well. If you don't want to miss the next live stream and video, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell, I guess. Like the video, do all of those things. But as you can see we're in 20w28a and I will create a new world for you guys and in this new snapshot of course. 20w28a, go into creative, and there we go. So this, uh, well, snapshot is called Under Pink Skies, and I will actually see, so there's a couple of changes, there's a lot of technical changes, and there's of course a lot of bug fixes. And I will go be going through all of those, of course. So let's just load up this world. And we've actually been streaming for 3 hours at the moment, so I'm pretty tired, but I hope I can get this video out pretty quickly. So here we are. See, it's a bit laggy of course at the start of every world, but we're in our village, that's nice. So let's see, we have, first of all, the changes in 20w28a. Brewing st stands can now be crafted with blackstone. Okay, so let's check that out. Let's grab some blackstone. Go, blackstone. Ooh, where is it? There it is. And I think we need a blaze rod as well. And let's grab some more black stone, there we go. And a crafting table of course, and then we can check out if we can craft a brewing stand. Yes, there we go, you can now craft brewing stands with black stone like this. So normally there's cobblestone here, but now you can also do this with black stone. I think this icon actually changed, I've never seen it like that in the inventory. So that's new as well. Then we have uh, villagers now emit green particles when joining a village, setting a home bed, or acquiring a job site or profession. Okay, so let's try that out. Let's go over here. Let's get a villager in. A villager, here we go, villager. And let's get another workstation. So for example, a composter. And let's see what happens. Okay, I didn't see any green particles there, so it should, it, there should be green particles when he uh, acquires a job site or profession, but it didn't happen for me here. Oh wait, I know. Um, video settings... I should have, yeah, particles all. Well, let's try this again then. Composter, villager... And there we go, he gets the green particles, so he gets this when he gets the profession, and when he sets a home bed, so let's see if he does that as well here. He's probably go only going to do it when it's night time. And time set night. Let's see if this happens here. I don't think it will. <coughs> mm, time at 2000. They should be going to bed now. So let's see if that happens. I don't think it will though. Look at all these villagers here. I was just so confused. Well, while he does that. I'll go over to the next change, which is Totems of Undying. Uh, now I'll give the fire resistance status for effect. Oh, okay, so that's nice. So let's see. Um, let's grab a Totem of Undying. No, not like that. Let's go over here. Totem of Undying. And let's go up here. Let's go into Survival. Survival. There we go. Let's fall all the way down. There we go. We got a Totem of Undying. And then, no, uh, I'm messing this up. Okay, here we go. We got absorption, fire resistance, and regeneration, as you can see. So the fire resistance is new. And this could be very helpful for, of course, if you are, well, jumping in the lava and you're dying to lava. Then you can use the fire resistance to actually save yourself. And so this will be, this will make, uh, well, uh, well, <laughs> blah, I can't speak. Three hours of live streams. I'm so sorry will make uh, exploring in the nether a lot easier because if you have a totem of dying in your hand and you just fall in lava and suddenly you won't die because you get fire resistance and then that's enough time to get out of the lava of course. There we go. Then they also tweaked the bartering loot. So this is something we expected <laughs> because the bartering was way too OP previously. But if we go back into creative, here we go, creative. No, not the queue after that. <coughs> Spawn in a piglin. And yeah, if you previously saw some of the piglin bartering farms, they were just super, super OP. So they've changed the loot that comes from the bartering. So let's give this guy a gold ingot. There we go. Of course he's shaking because we're in, in the overworld. I think we should go to the nether for this. Yeah. Let's go into the nether. 
set block, a nether portal, here you go, nether portal, and here we go, let's summon in another pillager, let's give him a gold ingot, and let's see what we get, so, yeah, we will be getting probably some, well, some less OP items, the more rare, well, the more OP items like um, obsidian and glowstone, all these stuff will probably be more rare. There we go, we got some crying obsidian. It doesn't seem like the mechanic itself has been tweaked. So apparently, also only the uh, like the the items you get from this have been tweaked. But I can't look at that myself right now. That is something. <laughs> well, we have to watch for later. There we go, we will probably get less good loot from the barter ring, but it still seems to be okay, since we got obsidian and crying obsidian, so... Most likely, only the amounts of items you get have been tweaked in this snapshot. And those were all the changes, so then there's also a lot of technical changes. Um, pillager, piglin, I'm so sorry, it's a piglin, not a pillager, I said pillager. So uh, there's a lot of, there have been a lot of technical changes to the new customizable worlds. So custom worlds can now support custom biomes. You can now also create custom biomes yourself. So previously they added custom world well custom world support, but they now also have custom biome support. So you can create your own biomes in Minecraft without using mods and actually get them to show up on this screen. So that's uh, over here. It says warp forest, and then it can also be changed to something new. Wait, the piglin kept his crossbow when he was zombified. Oh, that's that could also be something new. That's strange. And so there's, there's there have been lots of changes to the custom world generation. Let's see. Yeah, he did keep his crossbow. Look at this. This might be a bug. I think this is probably a bug, right? Because I don't think a zombie pigman should have crossbows. Can he use it, by the way? Let's see. Game mode, survival. Can he use the crossbow? Yeah, he can. Oh no. Um, he can't. He can't use the crossbow. <laughs> he can only hit with it. He cannot uh, like shoot with it. So that's a bit strange. Yeah, definitely a bug that needs to be fixed. Let's go back into creative before we die. So custom world generation. Uh, yeah, you can now set your biomes, of course. And there's also a lot of other settings that can be changed. Just check out the link in the description if you want to know more about the custom world generation. Because I don't know a lot about it, so I won't well, <laughs> tell you stuff about it because I don't know about it myself. Then we have dedicated server packet limits. So dedicated servers can now kick clients that constantly send too many packets within a second. So that means that probably, um, well... What you normally get with servers is that you can kick people, of course, if they, well, for example, cheat or hack or stuff like that. And I think that will be made easier with this. And you can actually control the amount of packets uh, they have to send before they get kicked with uh, in the server properties file. So there we go. That's also possible. Then there's a lot of fixed bugs. So uh, let's see, let's go through some of them. Um, let's see, is there anything very important? So there's just two old bugs, that's Thorns Enchantment causes double armor decay. So using the Thorns Enchantment will no longer uh, cause your armor to decay very fast. So it should be a little bit better now, so you get, should get your armor, keep your armor for longer. And the tags Is Baby and Is Villager couldn't be uh, changed using the Entity Data uh, command. Wait, I don't even have that command. I don't know what that means. Okay. Then we have for nether forest biomes, large fungi and small plants only generate on the topmost la layer of nilium, leaving all lower liliums devoid of flora. Okay. So that should be changed as well. We should see more n more uh, large fungi and small plants in the nether forest biomes. And let's see. Hoglins, Zoglins, Ravagers, and Iron Golems, and Polar Bears won't walk down a block if they're partially walking on air. So if we have a Zoglin, for example, like this, and he's on this block partly on air, he will he won't wouldn't be able to get off it. So like this, and now he is able to get off this block. So that's a good change that the mobs will now be able to walk better. So there we go, he walks off normally. And let's see. 
all minecarts can survive lava, so they finally fixed this bug. If you have lava like this, and... Oh, not like that. Let's try it like this. Get some rails. Here we go. Rails and a minecart. So for the longest time, minecarts were able to survive in lava. But now, if we push this guy into the lava, please. I reviewed this last time, it didn't work. There we go. The minecart breaks and it actually drops its item, but it's most likely going to go into the lava, of course. There we go. Let's push it in again. And there we go, it drops its item when it's pushed into the lava. And uh, then we have... Um, you can now place pickles on so sea pickles on soul sand, apparently. So let's see that. Get some sea pickles. And soul sand, sea pickle. You can now place sea pickles on soul sand. Very awesome. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Um... Piglins, stand around, drop golden items. No, that's not very interesting. Okay. A oh, wandering traders uh, should no longer be invisible all the time in the nether in the end. So that's nice. You can now get wandering traders in the nether in the end as well. And they won't be invisible all the time. So you can actually see them, which is nice. Um, so mobs... Uh, Let's see, I don't know what the fix is here, because it says mobs cannot spawn on wooden trapdoors, but can on iron and nether fungus trapdoors. So mobs should now be able to spawn on wooden trapdoors. They're just, let's see, wooden trapdoor. Let's get a trapdoor. Here we go. So if the trapdoor is like this, uh, no, not like this, like this and opened, mobs should now be able to spawn on it. But if it's like this, they won't be able to spawn it on it, of course. And like this, I think they will be able to spawn it, since there is a top part over here. So there's two places where it now will be able to spawn, over here and over here. And piglins will no longer try to continuously pick up, uh, try to pick up uh, gold ingots if they can't reach them, which is nice. It will reduce lag, and I think it will reduce items from... It will stop items from not despawning. And let's see if there's anything else. Um, I don't think there's any... Yeah, there's just some jigsaw bugs, bug fixes. You can read up on, on them yourself with the link in the description to the updates, of course. And the potted cactus. If you have a potted cactus... Ooh, no, that's not how you get them. Get a flower pot and get a cactus like this. And then put them in here. Then the bottom texture wouldn't be rendered. But now apparently it is. So if you go to spectator mode. Go in here. Okay. No, it's still not rendered. So I think that's not fixed yet then. Or it might be. I don't know. I don't. I think I could have read that wrong. Um, so fungi should no longer be able to grow through fire. Which is nice. And I think there's just some technical, a lot of technical bugs uh, fixed furthermore. Let's see. Um, yeah, the redstone cir circuits should no longer cause lag on certain redstone circuits. So that happened earlier as well. Um, let's see. Ah, opening a world from earlier than 1.14 releases in 1.16 causes villagers to vanish. So if you saw villagers vanish when you updated your world to 1.16, that should no longer happen, hopefully. So that bug has been fixed as well. And I think that's pretty much it. Ah, the crimson and warped slabs have also had their uh, textures on maps updated. So if you now get the crimson and warped slabs, place them down like this. And then open a map. We should see that the color is correct now. Let's get a map. And let's open it here. And we get the map on here, of course. Uh, that's not the right map, probably. This one probably is. Yes, there we go. Let's move away. And as you can see, the right textures have been used here now. So that's working now as well. And... Uh, the game should no longer crash when piglin or piglin brutes convert to zombified piglins. So we saw it before. The game didn't crash even though we did that. And mobs do not get damaged anymore if they're in lava and water at the same time. Okay, so if they're in lava and water at the same time. I don't know how you would get that, but let's try that. Let's get a skeleton. So they should still take damage now. Yeah. Okay, I can't really show that, but they will still take damage. 
Ah, so you mean like this? Oh yeah, it has a bottom texture now. Okay, that's nice. So that's what they meant with the cactus bottom texture. And, oh, if you use the recipe book, so if we have a crafting table over here. If you were using the recipe book in here and were trying to type stuff in here, if you typed an E, it would close the inventory. So that no longer happens anymore. And that's the last bug that has been fixed. And I hope you enjoyed this this video for 20w28a the snapshot if you want to know more about the snapshot please check the link in the description and if you want to see the next snapshot videos of course make sure to subscribe and like this video but i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next one so until then mm, bye bye